The 2009 control system, of course, built upon last year's edition. Um, it was uh, last year's bars were highly claimed because they're so simple. There's, uh, that's our philosophy when we design uh, bars here in control system. We want, it, we want something that's streamlined, simple, no unnecessary pieces, just something that's simple so there's no chance to, go, to get anything that goes wrong. So our focus this year was to make it, of course, even better. And uh, we spent some time on designing a new bar end, uh, worked on a new grip, worked on the way you adjust the flying line lens. And uh, of course, we kept the industry leading and reference uh, smart loop. Concerning the bar end, uh, what's new for this year is that this is the first ever uh, bar end that's got an internal bar lens adjustment. Basically, you have a um, little piece here on the bottom and uh, you can adjust your bar from 19 inch when it's in this position to 21 inches. To do that, it's pretty easy. You just move the floater a little bit up and then you pull the tab on the bottom of the bar end. You switch it 180 degrees, put it back in, then pull the floater back down and now you're at 21 inches. So the reason the bar lens adjustments is down here instead of on, on top of the, of the bar end is that first you keep a very compact and small bar end so you don't have a bulky piece at the end of your bar but also you really want the flying line to be putting from the bottom of your bar from the bar so then you don't create a triangle triangulation here that creates any kind of weird torque when you, when you steer your kite so it gives a, a much better steering feeling when the the lines are pulling from the bottom of the bar. Also what's new for this year is we got a longer um, floater that helps uh, the bar floats better and also that floater just hides the line lens adjustment. So basically you, when you put it up then you can adjust your uh, back line lens here and what it does is that it keeps the connection with the flying line up here really clean. So when you do uh, loops then you can you don't have you can keep steering your kite easily because you don't have a, a big knot up here that could uh, prevent uh, the steering of your kite. Also, the bar ends are done with a very soft uh, Dupont high trail material, so it's really soft when you hit it with your hands. There's no chance to get any injured if you hit it in your face. It's very very soft, so it's a very safe piece to have on the on the end of your bar instead of a, a bulky strong plastic uh, plastic piece. The other thing we worked on was uh, to get a even better grip than what we had. Uh, so we worked on a couple things to make it better. Uh, first, we've had an extra texture. Uh, there's the thermophore waffle texture that we, we had last year, and then we've had some uh, little holes through. Uh, it gives a much better feel when you hold your bar. And also, we've reworked on the ergonomic uh, bumps that we have here. And now, it really, the feel for your hand is just exactly what you need, and uh, it makes such a better feel when you ride your kite. You get a better handling. Uh, you really do feel a difference. And the other thing that you want to notice with that uh, grip is that the way it's designed, it is asymmetrical. So if you grab your, your bar upside down, it, it does gonna feel weird because it's the, the bumps are not centered. So you, instantly, even you don't see your bar, you get, let's say you had your eyes closed or you're under the water, you can feel instantly that your bar is upside down and then you can switch it back quickly. One thing that you don't want to forget about the, the Nash control system is that we have the smart loop. Uh, this is Greatest quick release uh, combined with a trimming system on the market. It's super compact. The reason it is compact uh, is that you don't waste any space down here. So you get a longer uh, range of motion for your bar. So it adapts for people to, uh, with shorter arm arms. But on the same time, even people with longer arms, they just get more, uh, more motion for their bar. So more, uh, more depart for the kite, more, uh, more range on the same time. Um, it is a very easy system to, uh, to uh, change. Uh, you can change the, the, the length of the, of the loop here. Uh, just take an Allen screw, take it out, take a longer one, change it. Uh, you also can remove the rotating chicken finger that we have here. Uh, it's very easy to replace the, the trim line. Just same thing, take an Allen key, take a new uh, trim line and uh, put it on. Uh, it has a feature that makes uh, rehooking when you when you just roll and hook really easy is that uh, this the top of the red piece is a male piece that fits into the female female piece of the bar so w when you ride unhooked then the bar is always like that facing you um, the loop is designed to stay stiff so it doesn't move 
So when you get unhooked, you don't have to grab your chicken loop with one hand and put it back on the harness. You, you just do it this way, really easy to do. Uh, it's got big holes on the front and on the top. The reason is that uh, it flushes the water and the sand out of the, the inside. It has little sand scrapers inside, so if there's any sand on the uh, sliding surface, then it's being scrapped out as soon as you move it upside down, uh, up or down. And uh, what's new also for this year is we've worked on a, on a new lighter pulley and for the SLE control system, we've designed a new piece uh, that works with the swivel up here and it's, uh, it's a line organizer. So basically what it does is that it allows you to have a leash uh, that's connected to one front line, but just goes through your bar and goes here just like on a regular fifth line. So then you can have your leash here connected to your harness easily. And uh, you can see the way it works. If you let go your bar, uh, then this is just gonna go up this way and slide, slide through your bar. Yeah. And of course, uh, of course we keep the easy stopper system that you can move with one hand easily and then uh, when you go against it with your bar it, it stops unless you really push hard and then it's gonna, it does gonna slide through in case you need a depower but really easy to adjust with just one hand by moving your bar. So again this year uh, I think I can say that uh, the Nash control system is extremely streamlined, extremely simple and uh, extremely performing to get the best out of your kite.